what we're looking at are actually six large-scale painted wall sculptures that are based on life casts that Lucy has taken from three different subjects. So from there, turn those casts into these painted reliefs where she's kind of flattened parts of the cast to create a surface that is between two dimensions and three dimensions, kind of distorted and manipulated. And then once she's created each kind of silhouetted, cut out, distorted portrait, she then works with an image of that in Photoshop to kind of create these almost wallpaper-like patterns of the repeated torso. So the one we're looking at is Dr. Eric Lander, who is a geneticist at the Broad Institute of MIT and Harvard. Each of Kim's subjects is a person who, in their profession, changes or shapes the human body. So you have um, a geneticist and biologist, and then you have a plastic surgeon and a fitness trainer. We're standing in the beginning of Sonia Almeida's gallery. To our left are two artist books that the artist has created. Behind us is a double-sided painting that is attached to the wall on hinges as if it were a swinging door. And then to our right are three tapestries that are held on hardware that comes out perpendicularly from the wall. The tapestries are actually based on images of Almeida's paintings. So beyond the painting and the book and the tapestry are seven more paintings by Almeida, which are poised between different abstract languages and modes of representation. So you see her working with different symbols that are based on figures of visual communication and icons, as well as figurative elements like profiles or a ribbon as if it were rendered in a 3D digital process with a drop shadow up against passages of kind of rough, expressionistic, colorful abstractions. There are four works in here which are on hinges, and so most paintings only get to have one face. These have two. Depending on how you enter the room, there are actually three entrances to this gallery. You'll see a different side of the painting. And Sonia's really interested in the ways in which perception and looking can be actually a sort of physical embodied experience and the relationship between the eye and the hand, which of course as a painter, you're constantly going back and forth between you know, the eye, the mind, and the hand and what happens with that. And I think in putting her works on these hinges and being able to be manipulated by someone, she's sharing that relationship an artist has between the hand and the eye with the visitor or viewer of her work. What we're looking at now, we're in a gallery of work by artist Jennifer Bornstein, which includes three different components. One is four walls, which are almost covered in wax and encaustic rubbings, taken from clothing technology, like film cameras and architecture. A number of the rubbings come from clothing that belonged to her father, um, who passed away a few years ago. In the middle of the room is a large table with a number of plaster sculptures, which are all based on physical and psychological tests for lab mice. And in fact, they're surrounded by four video projections with, which show the mice interacting with these sculptural tests. Bornstein's father actually was a geneticist who designed this specific genetically modified mouse. And so you have, in many different ways, almost a biographical memorial. You have this play back and forth between two dimensions and three, the personal and the kind of social or academic all at play in this gallery. And this piece, Leviathan, was filmed on a commercial fishing boat off the shores of New Bedford. And it is this brutal, beautiful, epic portrait of the sensory experience on this boat, from the viscera of fish to the submersion of cameras into water to the crew and the captain the seagulls, and we're probably hearing the really beautiful and specific soundtrack, which is a major part of the film as well. This piece was made with GoPro cameras attached to the fishermen, parts of the boat, sometimes put on poles and held high up in the air or submerged into water. So you really have the action and the movement of all the different components that are present on a, on a ship.